So good morning. I'm flying solo today and I am lucky enough to report that I have got a Kawasaki ZX6R 2024 model. This bike vanished from UK markets about three or four years ago due to emissions. Thankfully, the Japanese manufacturers have reintroduced uh, these bikes. Honda have done the same. And uh, I've not really ridden this bike yet, so just had it delivered. And this morning, I'm gonna just do a sort of 10, 15 minute first impressions, first ride. And that's ahead of Chopsy and I doing a comparison between this and the Honda CBR 600 RR. So if that's of interest, sit back, relax, enjoy. And if you don't mind Chopsy, roll the intro. Right, so enough of all that. Uh, let's uh, jump aboard and see what this Kawasaki ZX6R is like to ride. So the first thing that you notice actually when you get on board and you start it, I don't know why I wasn't expecting this, but I wasn't. I thought it was going to be a bit more gruff, but the engine is so, so, it's so smooth. Straight for, and there's you know, no vibration. It's really, really smooth. One other thing that I have was surprised at actually was the fact that the the bike doesn't have a, a blipper and the reason for that is it's still got a cable throttle you can see it there so obviously there's no way you can uh, put an auto blipper on it so down changes on the Kawasaki ZX6R 2024 are still uh, manual conventional down changes but it does have a quick shifter and the quick shifter is really really nice really smooth the bike doesn't feel particularly small even though it's only a 600 or 636 you know i think i could probably be on a litre bike and i don't think it would feel physically much different if any different at all yeah so it's got plenty of go and um because this is slightly larger capacity being a 636 i think it probably has a bit more mid-range than some of its competitors in this class uh, also i think the gearing's relatively low so um when you want to kind of get going you just see it there it's it's pretty instant actually and it doesn't feel it doesn't feel 600 lazy i mean don't get me wrong it's not it's not like a thousand it's not like a liter bike but it's surprisingly responsive um even when you're just sort of in that mid-range and very very livable you know if you jumped off a, a blade or some big capacity sports bike onto this you'd feel you'd feel flat but if you just rode this within sort of 10 minutes you're not thinking that at all oh the handling's very nice very sure footed it's got a nice induction roar it's pretty quiet so this has got a factory fitted acropovic on it but there's no noise from it whatsoever so other than the look of it it looks nicer than a stock can it's not worth it from a noise point of view this road that i'm on here is actually quite bumpy and the suspension setup on this this is standard factory setup is pretty plush actually it feels nice it's firm but it's miles away from crashy and it's actually a pretty nice setup i'd say you can feel everything that's going on pretty confidence inspiring so that's that's good other observations I have to say, for a bike that's about ten and a half thousand Great British pounds, it feels really, really quite nice quality. Which is pretty impressive. You know, you look at the price points of bikes these days, you know, and these are obviously got to be built to a budget, but it's not obvious that they have been built to a budget. It feels very, very nice. All the switch gear. The dash is really, really nice. All the information that you'd need, nice and clear, good size, really nice. Just gonna try the brakes out. I nearly went to down change then without the clutch, which would have been a fail. Nothing behind. Yeah, the brakes are nice. The front brake is really nice. Obviously, one of the advantages of uh, a bike like this is the fact they weigh less. So that obviously helps from an agility perspective, but also from a braking point of view, because you've got less mass to slow down. So. Yeah, the brakes are, well, it's incredible. I mean, to say this is more than enough from the road is an understatement. You know, it's still a rocket ship and it's actually very enjoyable. And, you know, you could argue that it makes more sense 
because you can actually get into the revs a bit more you can get onto that power a bit more it's just a little bit more engaging you know and if all of your if all of your mates and buddies had litre bikes you know they're not going to be on the road it can make any difference at all they're going to be losing you so yeah so far that's the first five or ten minutes well for the first five minutes really feels very nice and the overarching feeling actually that I really like is um, just how smooth it is. It feels so, so refined. Really, really nice. You know, the, it just feels like it would last. And um, as I say, my son's actually races one of these, uh, not the 2024 version. And obviously racing, you know, bikes get beyond a hard time. Um, we do look after it meticulously and we, you know, drop the oil out all the time. Um, but that aside, um, mechanically, it has been faultless. You know, and I just think if you can if you can deliver that much abuse to one of these and not have any issues, I think if you bought one of these as a road bike, you're going to be absolutely laughing. Be trouble-free, sport hoonage. You know, the throttle response is good. You know, to say it has to comply with EU emission laws, it's pretty good. Um, it's not it's not 100% perfect at the bottom. It's still you can still sense it's a little bit lean. There's just that normal kind of little hes hesitation on, from a closed throttle, but totally livable. But I think if you uh, were that way inclined and you did buy one of these and you went and got a got it sort of set up and maybe a custom mat, it would be absolutely beautiful because it's so smooth. I mean, just going through the box there, you know, just in town, it's, you know, it's seamless gear changes and the engine's just so refined. There's nothing coming through the bike. It just feels really nice. And it's so flexible, just sort of getting used to the riding position. Yeah, it's it's good. It's not it's not too extreme. It is livable. I mean, obviously you've you've got to want a sports bike to um, to want to live with this riding position. But honestly, in my opinion, you do get used to it, and it feels before you know it completely natural and right. And it is so nice having that weight over the front. Right. So finally, we can get out on the open road. She's a screamer. <laughs> oh, it's so engaging. The handling's lovely. It does feel light. Feels very nimble. It's very easy to ride. All the controls just feel so nice. You know, I know we're a little bit uh, inconsistent, Chopsy and I, in some of our feedback in terms of do you need mega power? Do you not need mega power? I mean, of course you don't. You know, there, this is more than enough for the road. It really is. You know, and, and it is super engaging because you just sort of get up the revs a little bit more. You know, there's no problems getting past traffic. Yeah, you know, it's just super good fun. Super! Bit of a rise here. Woohoo! Yeah, even lack of blipper, to be honest. It's fine, the, um, the throttle response for a sort of down blip manually and the clutch action gearbox is so nice that you just, yeah, once you realise that's what you've got to do, a bit old school, it feels totally fine. So what could I criticise? Um, I'm struggling a little bit actually, not much. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of fantastic news that they've reintroduced this into English market I'm so glad that they've survived you know there's a lot of the sort of parallel twins now coming back which are sort of put out there as being a bit of a super sport bike and you know they're not really that this is you know this is sort of proper old school back to proper 600 straight four screamer it's really engaging it's you know it feels plenty fast enough certainly once you get to the mid-range and beyond you know it's it's fast i mean there's no there's no other word for it it's fast 
the handling's really nice really smooth feels so so stable so planted you can throw it around because there's not so much weight the brakes are good you know there, there really is nothing you know there's no sort of standout thing that you'd say oh if only they'd done this you know i think it's only only criticism if you will is the fact that you know it hasn't got the most sophisticated electronics and it doesn't got hasn't got a blipper but but honestly it you don't miss it's nothing it's fine so yeah would i recommend it i would i think if you're looking for a a good fun bike for the road you come from a sports bike sort of background it's ideal you know and it's definitely a brilliant bike for sunday morning little ride rounds get out there have a bit of fun doesn't take itself too seriously i think i would say so anyway as a next step what chopsy are gonna and i are gonna do uh is he has currently got the latest 2024 honda cbr 600 and um obviously direct competitor to this so we are going to do a back-to-back -back comparison slash shootout between the two uh, i have not ridden the cbr 600 yet i haven't even thrown a leg over it so when i get to ride it in that uh, review um, the initial few minutes will be the very first time that i've uh, thrown my leg over it so it'd be really really interesting to see what it's like compared to this kawasaki i'm sure that's going to be brilliant as well but I can't see it blowing this into the weeds because there is absolutely nothing to complain about on this bike it's it's really really good and you know this is slightly bigger capacity engine so maybe just maybe this has got a little bit more mid-range than the honda um, but obviously we'll be uh, considering all those things and uh, commenting on them during that review so uh, if that's of interest uh, keep a lookout for the notifications that will be coming up soon and uh, yeah Thanks for joining me for this very brief initial review thoughts on the Kawasaki ZX6R. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, if you're in the market for a middleweight sports bike, give it a go. Go to your Kawasaki dealer. Thanks for joining. I'll see you soon. It's like typical Honda. Beautifully smooth engine. <laughs> The brake feel is really nice. I mean, listen to that engine. First gear now, we've got her on a proper screen. I could see myself having one of these as a little Sunday morning fun thing. Ten and a half grand. And you've got a bike which looks like a 20 grand fire blade. So much feel from everything. The brake feels gorgeous. I mean, they may be sort of budget grade, they're not Brembo, they're not Stylemas. Doesn't matter, bike's so light. Well, first gear 